Hey, good morning. This is Tom at Talon Guitar Works. And about to do surgery with the ground wire on this um, uh, Mexican Stratocaster rework for one of my customers. And everybody asks, how do you do the claw on the back of a Stratocaster and get the solder to actually stick? Well, what you do is you take a piece of sandpaper, and this is just 400 grit, and you sand the back of that claw and scrape that coating off scrape it back. I then set my um, soldering iron up to 460 degrees. I've got solder flowed on there already on the wire and I'm going to go ahead and hold that. Put some solder on there after four seconds. Tight spot there and take the soldering iron away and pull and voila i have a nice hard uh solder joint right there that's going to work fine now are there times you know somebody's probably saying right now that's genius i'll just up all my solder settings to super hot well that's not good because what you can do is burn the wiper out of your tone pots because I know somebody's going to say, well, the back of tone pots, you know, they're always kind of hard to solder. What I solder my tone pots at is about 340. And right now I'm going to put the ground for the output on the tone pot. And it's usually that four second rule, maybe a little bit more. Tip's coming a little bit loose there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and solder right next to that. I'm gonna put that ground coming off of the off of the claw. So now my grounds are in. So now I've got to come over here and it's a tight spot, but um, when the guy took the, the old hot wire off, he just cut it right at the lug. So I'm gonna to have to get in here and hit that lug to take that tail out. And I'm going to need these. These are great. These with old eyes. I can actually see what I'm doing down there. When I hit it, the wire that was in the lug separated into strands. So now I'm pulling all these little strands out and getting ready to put my hot wire going to the output jack in. Now, there's two ways to do this. And I know that Seymour Duncan teaches one way to do it online. And they say that you should hook the wire through and then solder it, tin it. The other way is to completely skin over or solder over, tin over, however you want to call it, um, the opening in the lug. And then heat the lug and just push it through. So now I've got my hot or my ground going to my bridge, my ground going to my output jack. I've got my hot that's going to my output jack and I'm gonna feed those through the holes. And these are, like I said, lace sensor pickups and they're color coded um, silver, red, and blue for their locations on the, uh, where they go in the cavity. Ooh, let's move it back here so you can see them. All right. And Lace sensor pickups are the beginning of the noiseless pickups for Fender. 
uh, Lace Music is the one who designed them. And they designed them as the quietest single coil pickups in the world. And they still claim that. And I have no reason to doubt them. Uh, what Fender did was they built off of that and built their noiseless pickups that they're up to Gen 4 on. Uh, based off the technology, I'm guessing, from Lay Sensor that they gained there. All right, so we got that on. We have our pushback wire here. And I like using the cloth pushback wire on everything guitars uh, because the coating never burns when I'm soldering it. He's got an input jack on here. I'm going to clean up. And what I'm going to clean the solder off of with the input jack is a little Stumac solder sucker. And I saw somebody's going to say, oh, you bam shill for Stumac, right? No, I, it's just where I could get the solder sucker from. So I am not sponsored by Stumac. I do buy a lot of their stuff because it works. And no, I don't bitch about the price generally because I am not an individual doing this. I'm a business and if I buy it from Stumac, I'm going to use it. It's not like, oh, I'm stuck with this expensive piece of equipment that I only used once. You know, and there's a lot of other expensive luthery supply and we lost a couple. We lost Luthier's Mercantile this year that had really good stuff. And uh, I've bought stuff off them. You know what? I hate this jack. It's one of those cheapo jacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this jack off. If I can get this on there. And we're going to put one of the new jacks on here. The Posi Lock Jacks. get there we go now posi lock posi tone I'll get the name off it when I go get the jack pure tone Pure Tone Jack. Now, what's so special about a Pure Tone Jack? Well, there's several things special. When you use this type of jack in a Fender Stratocaster, this arm has got to go a certain way or else you have to pull the jack plate out and turn it the opposite way because when the quarter inch goes in it, it pushes it down and interferes with the pocket and the body. And over time, these bars get a little bit weak. Now, uh, this company, Pure Tone, did I say that right? Pure Tone, multi-contact, has made this input jack. And if you look at it, it's a lot more positive um, clamping onto that quarter inch. And you're not going to get the wiggle out of it. And you're definitely, if you can see this, I had to exert quite a bit of force to put that in there. Versus this one. You know, so this pure tone is not going to wiggle. The only time you have to worry about installing a pure tone is uh, let's say like on the Fender Precision Bass. The P bass goes through the pick guard, the input jack. And if that pick guard isn't strong enough, you know, and what I'm talking about is the older Bakelite pick guards possibly, or the, the one plies, or it's been out in the sun, or, you know, et cetera, et cetera, the pick guard's weak, right? and you're pushing this back and forth through, you're gonna break that pick guard. Uh, and a metal um, 
holder like this one, I don't think I'm going to break a pick guard. All right. Now, to tell which one is which on this, the lug that goes to tip is hot, which is always between the wafers here, and the lug that goes to the ring is your ground. So I'm going to skin some solder on there real quick, as soon as I find my solder. And let's see if I can put this someplace where y'all could see it. All right. So to put the solder on these, what I'm going to do is hold the back of the soldering iron against the lug. I'm going to come in from the opposite side and just let it skin over. If I can get it to contact, there we go. Clean my tip. There we go. And now I have Okay, that tip is skinned over or that lug. And we're going to go to the second lug. And that lug is now done. So remember, this top lug, this one is the black. I'm going to do it over here. You're not going to be able to see it, but trust me, I'm doing it. All right, another tip for soldering. If you've got a fan on, turn the fan off. If you have the urge to blow on this solder, don't do it. That's what gives you cold solder joints. And here we go. First one through, come on baby. All right, and that's it for the solder. So, what we're going to do now before we plug everything back in is we're going to do a little test. And this will save you a lot of headaches in the long run. If you test these before you put everything back together. Because there's nothing worse than putting everything together and then plugging it in and going, well, it's not working. And we turn that up. All right. Nothing. Nothing. In this position, that's correct. Now, I should just have these two. Nothing. All right. There. Now, I should just have the center. Dead and dead. Now, we should just have these two. Nice, nothing up there. And then we should just have this one. Okay, so that is all good to go. So I'll turn off my amplifier and we're gonna go ahead and uh, stop this video here because what I'm gonna do is uh, screw the pick guard down. I'm gonna screw the input jack in and then I'm gonna come back and do the final video on the stringing of this guitar and the setup and what tools I use for that. And then we'll do a little sound check with me playing the guitar badly. So this is Tom of Talent Guitar Works. If you like the channel, subscribe. And we'll hope to see you soon. Bye.